Hey folks, there was a 6.1 earthquake in Chile last night, and the earthquakes are continuing today in the uh, Caribbean and Cocos Plate region, uh, specifically in El Salvador. They're getting the worst of it. There was another landslide in Colombia last night, and it wouldn't be another day without the earthquake swarm in the uh, Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico region. Also, a 5.0 in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean in the Azores Islands region is uh, unusual for that part of the world. For those of you interested in Yellowstone, I know a lot of you are. Uh, we're obviously concerned about it, uh, but we're not experts, and we don't really go too deep into it but I know a lot of you like to and this is a pretty good article on uh, the underground heat of Yellowstone uh, we'll put it below the European Space Agency might as well uh, attempt to establish communications with the Phobos Grun again considering everything they try to do to save their currency is failing sunspot numbers down to 122 today still way above projections but uh, we have lost um, a couple of active regions, but I guarantee you tomorrow that's going to change when these two active regions get numbered. Solar activity is probably about to increase, folks. Now watch this left side of the sun here. We have these active regions, and we actually have some magnetic filaments writhing around the sun as well. And we're going to let the SCO AIA play right here for you. This is 193 angstroms, and watch the activity of these two active regions uh, coming across right now. This is sped up in double speed from uh, what the website shows. Uh, just so we don't take up all your time. But you can see these regions are fairly active and let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of them right here. Start below. That's a pretty big active region right there. It appears to have uh, a light bridge in the middle of it. Uh, and this active region as well appears to be elongated. Probably has a lot of spots. The biggest one up front. Uh, so let's take a look at what these look like magnetically. First this one on the bottom here. Uh, probably just a beta spot here but uh, if that line cuts down the middle of it, that's the biggest delta spot I've ever seen. Uh, going up to check out this spot up here, we can pretty much say that this one should be labeled beta gamma uh, when we uh, see the new forecast come out from NOAA. So expect solar activity to increase, folks. That's the news. Be safe.